Hi booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I am going to talk to you about the books that I plan to read in the month of November. I don't have really solid reading plans for November, uh, they're a bit up in the air at the moment. I only have two books that I really want to read this month and those are my set books for the month. Um, and the first one of those is Judgment in Death by J.D. Robb. This is book 11 of the In Death series and this is part of a year-long read-along that I'm doing to read one of these books every month. This book again is going to be no exception, it's all about Eve Dallas who is a New York police and security department detective specialising in homicide and she will have uh, another murder that she has to solve as well as navigating life, relationships, love um, and all of that as well. I've really enjoyed the previous books I've read and I'm looking forward to this one. It's going to be no exception. Um, I usually can't figure out who the killer is until the author decides to reveal it or just before the author decides to reveal it. So this is going to be a nice easy start to the month. The second book that I want to read this month is my book club pick, uh, the Just One More Page book club. And this month it has been chosen to read Jamaica Inn by Daphne du Maurier. I have never read any Daphne du Maurier before, um, but you do hear a lot about her books. And this is a classic, so hopefully it will go towards my classics um, target that I wanted to read for this year. And this is about a young woman, Mary, who when her mum dies, she has to cross the Cornish Moors to go and live with her, her aunt Patience at Jamaica Inn. Jamaica Inn is actually a real place. I've been there a few times. Uh, it's quite spooky um, in there. I don't really like it there at all. Um, it's not a place that I would choose to stop if I didn't have to. Uh, but this book is centred around what happens to Mary after she arrives there because she then finds out that her step uncle is a smuggler and it all goes from there. I don't really know anything more than that. Um, I'm looking forward to reading it. I was I was actually really, really pleased when Jess put up this was the, the pick for the month. Uh, like I say, I've never read any Daphne du Maurier before and there is lots around Daphne du Maurier going on at the moment because there is a new adaptation of Rebecca due out. And I had been toying with the idea of trying Rebecca to see how I got on with it. Um, so when Jamaica Inn came up as the, the pick for this month, I was actually really, really pleased because now I can try and see if this is one that I'll get on with and would I want to read more from her in the future. It's not a very long book. Um, this is actually my mum's copy. I've actually raided her bookshelves for a change. Uh, which doesn't happen very often these days. I used to do it a lot when I was in my teens, um, but not so much as an adult. Uh, so my mum is actually quite chuffed that she's had a book that I want to read. Um, so I'll see how I get on with that one and I'll let you all know at the end of the month. So I have a couple of carryovers uh, from previous months. If, you, uh, when, if you've seen my October TBR, then you'll know that I started The Hobbit right at the end of October. Um, haven't gotten very far into it um, but again this is a fantasy novel it's set for children it's about a hobbit called Bilbo Baggins who goes on an adventure when he's really not the adventurous sort at all and it's about all the things that happen to him and the 13 dwarves that he is traveling with. I really enjoy this book like I say it's a book that I've, re I've read and read and read many times over um, so I really enjoy it. I don't really know what to say about it other than it's one of my favourite books of all time. It's one of the first fa real fantasy books I ever read. Um, and I'm looking forward to finishing it during the month of November. And the final carryover from previous month is The Shadow Rising by Robert Jordan. I have talked a lot about this book in previous videos, so I'm not really going to go into much detail here now. But... It's one that I've only got that much left of it, um, but it is one that I need some peace and quiet to be able to sit and read. We are just heading, about to head into another lockdown here in the UK. I don't know what that means for the company that I work for. We work in manufacturing. Um, 
so at the time of filming this the lockdown's only just been announced and I haven't been into work so I have no idea whether I'm going to be on lockdown or whether I'm going to be continuing to work um, if I have a lockdown then obviously I'm probably going to be able to finish this one quite quickly because it will give me the time that I need to dedicate to it if not then I'm just going to continue trying to just read a few pages here and there um, just to keep it going anybody who watched my October TBR video will know that my TBR for that month was led by a friend of mine who had teased me for having too many books started and not really finishing them. I had challenged them that if I read those books during the month of October, if I hit a reading slump during that month, they would have to buy me a book. Around the middle of the month, I was starting to feel pretty bad about reading. I didn't want to pick up Harry Potter. I didn't want to pick up The Hobbit. Those are my go-to books when I'm having problems with reading. And I messaged that person and said, get ready to spend some money. Um, they, I told them which book I'd want and they came back and they'd bought the book. Um, like I say, we're just about to head into lockdown. I am hoping that at some point between now and the lockdown, we can get together so they can hand the book over to me. Uh, but that book is Rose Matter by Stephen King. If we can see each other um, even just for two minutes just to hand the book over, this book is definitely on my November TBR. I really want to read it. It's been on my mind for a long time. It's a book that, even though I don't identify with the content or anything, it's a book that's very important to me. It's one that I bought as a teenager for myself and I read an awful lot. Um, but seven years ago, I got rid of a lot of my books. In fact, this shelf behind me here is pretty much the remnants of the books that I had left um, after I'd had that huge purge of my bookshelf seven years ago. Um, and Rose Matter is one of the books that I really regretted getting rid of. So it is quite important to me. Um, and I'm just grateful that this friend has realised just how important that was and has bothered to spend out the money to to give me that book, to give me that boost. Um, and I really am grateful. And I don't think they will really know how grateful I am. I then have three books that are on the maybe pile. Again, like Rose Madder, they're ones that I've been thinking about. The first book is Tower of the Winds by H.L. Dennis. This is the fourth book in the Secret Breakers series. I've read the previous three books this year. They were lent to me by my nephew. It's about a group of uh, people who have come together to try and solve a mysterious document that is unreadable. And it, I'm quite enjoying the adventures. They're nice, light adventures. There's nothing too heavy about them. They are kids' books. They are in the 9 to 12-year-old range. So I am really enjoying reading them and I'm probably going to get to this book at some point very, very quickly in this month. The next book that I'm thinking of reading is another one that I've had on my mind since about March this year and that is Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. I know very little about this book other than a lot of people back at the beginning of the year were talking about this book and talking about this book positively. And even though it's not the sort of book that I would normally read because it is more literary in style, it is one that I have been thinking about and kept thinking about and eventually had to go and buy a copy for myself. And it's been sat on my bookshelf looking at me, but I felt guilty um, for having so many books on the go and not finishing them. So I didn't pick it up. But it is getting to the stage now where I'm really thinking I want to pick it up, I want to pick it up, I want to pick it up. So I really want to give this one a go. Um, so it's highly likely that this one will come up in the month of November. And the final book that I'm thinking of reading this month, again, it's another one that's been on my mind for a little while, especially since I picked it up. And that is The Institute by Stephen King. This is about a group of kids who have been kidnapped, I think, and are locked away in an institution because they have special powers. Stephen King is perfect for this time of the year. It's the end of October, beginning of November when I'm filming this. 
and he writes very good spooky thriller suspense horror books Stephen King has been a favorite author of mine um for a lot of years since my early teen years and like I say um I've already got um Rose Madder on the TBR for this month if I can get my hands on my copy of it um, but this is one that's been sat on my bookshelf since the summer and I just keep looking at it and wanting to pick it up again like where the crawdads thing I was feeling guilty because I didn't want to start another book when I had so many already on the go that I hadn't finished um, but now that I'm kind of getting to the stage where those are all sorted I really want to have a go and pick this one up because I read a Stephen King book earlier this year. It was only a very short one, but I really enjoyed it. And I remembered exactly why I enjoyed his writing and why he's a favourite author of mine. So I'm looking forward to hopefully picking this up in November. So those are all the books that I'm planning. I think it's going to be a bit of a mood reading month this month. I think I'm just going to let the flow take me and what I pick up, I pick up. Um, I've got a few other books that I'm thinking of reading that are just kind of staring at me from the bookshelf um, so I'm just going to see how it goes uh, I want to at least the first four um, that I talked about definitely two of those have got to be finished this month um, one of those continued and the third one is highly likely to be finished um, but the rest of the month who knows and I will see where it takes me what are you planning on reading in November? Um, do you have any plans? Do you stick to TBRs or are you a mood reader? Please let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to chat with you there. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you all again soon. Bye.